Welcome back to the Big Fat Quiz of Sport. Our next round is all about people. Michael Jordan is one of the greatest athletes of all time for Americans. For most British people, he's just a very tall man that plays netball. <laughs> people say that Michael Jordan had the most accurate shot in American history. Well, tell that to JFK. <laughs> <laughs> So good. Tiger Woods is considered by some as the all-time greatest golfer and by everyone as the all-time worst husband. <laughs> <laughs> right, time for some more questions. For our first question, it's over to the legend, Dame Kelly Holmes. Hi, Jimmy. When I was competing, I focused on getting quicker and quicker. But at the Sydney 2000 Olympics, Eric Moussambani swam the 100 metres freestyle in the slowest time ever, but still won his heat. He made headlines everywhere and was given a loving nickname. Can your teams tell me what it was? What's his first name? Uh, it's Eric. Slow Eric. <laughs> uh, it's not bad. Oh, no, you'd go for the joke. You'd go fast Eric. <laughs> He's in incredible shape. Whoa. He doesn't look like he likes swimming. <laughs> like that, I know that face, because that was the first day I made at swimming lessons. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's American ring announcer Michael Buffer, footballer Jamie Vardy, and fitness legend Jane Fonda. They're all associated with iconic sporting phrases. I just want to know what phrase is associated with each one of them. I know his. Yeah. Question three. Boxers Vitaly Klitschko and Manny Pacquiao, uh, as well as footballer George Weah, have all got something in common. What is it? Uh, Two incredible boxers, one incredible footballer. Are they all Aries, Jimmy? Are they all Aries? Yeah. <laughs> no. I can't believe you don't know when Vitaly's <laughs> birthday is. <laughs> OK. Matiza Merzad is the star player in the Iranian seated volleyball team. I want to know what natural advantage does he have at the Paralympics. So he plays seated volleyball. Nice. Uh, they've dominated the sport around for the last <laughs> decade. It's yeah. guessable. Mm. Long arms. All right. For the last question in this round, we go across to the esteemed actor, Charles Dance. He's reading an extract from a sports star's autobiography. All I want to know is, who's that sports star? Have a listen. Chapter 12. Slim dumps a small pile of white powder on the coffee table. He cuts it, snorts it, he cuts it again. I snort some. I've never felt such energy. I'm seized by an urge, a desperate desire to clean. I go tearing around my house, cleaning it from top to bottom. I dust the furniture, I scour the top, I make the beds, I sweep the floors. When there's nothing left to clean, I do laundry, all the laundry. I fold every sweater and every T-shirt and still haven't made a dent in my energy. I don't want to sit down. If I had table silver, I'd polish it. If I had leather shoes, I'd shine them. If I had a giant jug of coins, I'd roll them into paper wrappers. I look high and low for Slim. He's out in the garage taking apart the engine of the car and putting it back together. I tell him I could do anything right now. Anything, man, anything, anything, any fucking thing. I could get in the car and drive to Palm Springs and play 18 holes, then drive home and make lunch and go for a swim. I don't sleep for two days. When I finally do, it's the sleep of the dead and the innocent. That was, that was a bit intense, wasn't That's it? That's a lot, isn't it? So that is a Sporting Stars autobiography. Wow. But what we know from that is they did a <laughs> ton of drugs. Was anybody else just thinking about how clean his house must be as well? <laughs> like, oh, I'd love to see that pile of ironing. Hello, I'm Jimmy Carr. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Now, there's a scientific theory that states you laugh 30 times more when you're in a room with other people than when you're watching something on a screen. So why not come and see me live? It's jimmycar.com for tickets, and I'm pretty much everywhere. See you then.